Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Hey, I wanted to dive into some little known programs in the VA, um, and I'm going to start with this one the disability housing grants for veterans. So a lot of people are not aware that there are housing grants available for disabled veterans through the VA. So I'm, I'm on the site here. I'm just going to read through some things, kind of throw my two cents in there. Hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. Even if you are not somebody who needs a housing uh, grant from the VA or, or maybe you don't qualify for one, you hitting the like button helps to get this information into the hands of those that may actually qualify for it and not even know that it exists. So with that, let's dive into it. Uh, so disability, disability housing grants for veterans. We, the VA, offer housing grants for veterans and service members with certain service-connected disabilities so they can buy or change a home to meet their needs and live more independently. Changing a home might involve installing ramps or widening doorways, right? So if you have an older house, you know, very narrow hallway, can't get a bigger wheelchair through it, right? So widening the hallway, uh, widening doorways. Um, find out if you're eligible for a disability housing grant and how to apply. Grant eligibility for your permanent home. Can, it's a question and some answers. So can I get a specially adapted housing grant. So this is S-A-H, S-A-H, special, uh, specially adapted housing grant. You may be able to get an S-A-H grant if you are using the grant money to buy, build, or change your permanent home. A home you plan to live in for a long time. What's long? Three years, five years, seven years? I don't know. They don't have a number. And you meet, because life changes, right? So life could change a year after you're in and you have to do something different. So, But you intend to be there for a long time. And you meet both of these requirements. So two things you have to meet. You own or will own the home. You have a qualifying service-connected disability. So those two things must be true. So back on the own a home thing, I mean, the VA home loans are still super good. Um, you go through a credit union. The rates, interest rates are not the same wherever you look. They're different be between whatever mortgage lender, mortgage broker, bank, um, or a credit union. They're all going to be different. So shop around, right? Look around, get some, uh, get some kind of basic uh, idea of what rates are looking like. And, uh, you know, it could save you hundreds of dollars a month, depending on what you're looking at. And um, historically, rates are still low. Obviously, they're much higher than they were with the recent rate hikes, which isn't that exciting for people that are looking to buy. However, uh, a couple things to keep in mind when you go to buy a home is your disability compensation is tax free. Therefore, uh, they will use a grossed up figure of that number. So... It, for every thousand dollars of of uh, disability income, they're going to give you twelve fifty uh, to use as a grossed number. Typically, at least that's what what I've always seen. So that's a hundred and twenty five percent of your netted amount, which is your tax free portion. So remember remember that um, and. Uh, Let's move on. So uh, you have to own the home and you have to have a qualifying service connected disability. Qualifying service connected disabilities include the loss or loss of use of more than one limb, the loss or loss of use of a lower leg along with the residuals lasting effects of an organic nature uh, and Let's see. Let me reread that. The loss or loss of use of a lower leg along with residuals of an organic disease or injury. I don't, I don't know the full definition of that. Blindness in both eyes with 2200 visual acuity or less. Certain severe burns. The loss or loss of use of one lower extremity, foot or leg, after September 11th, 2001, 2001. 
which makes it so you can't balance or walk without the help of braces, crutches, canes, or wheelchair. Note, only 120 veterans and service members each year, each fiscal year, can qualify for a grant based on the loss of one extremity after 2011-2021 as set by Congress. A fiscal year runs from, so it's using the federal fiscal year, October 1 through September 30th. If you qualify for a grant in the current fiscal year, but you can't receive it because the 120 grant limit was met, you may be able to receive this benefit in the future years. How much funding does SAH grant offer? If you qualify for an SAH grant, you can get up to $109,986 for fiscal year 2023. This is the current total maximum allowed um, for SAH grants. So again, that's $109,986. Can I get a special home adaption grant? So this one's different. SHA, they sound kind of the same, it's just they move the H and the A, right? You may be able to get an SHA grant if this is the smaller one, if I remember right. So you may be able to get a SHA grant if you're using the money to buy, build, or change your permanent home, a home you plan to live in for a long time, and you meet both of these requirements you or a family member own or will own the home and you have a qualifying service connected disability qualifying service connected disabilities include the loss or loss of use of both hands certain severe burns certain respiratory or breathing injuries how much funding does sha grant offer if you qualify for an SHA grant, you can get up to $22,000, $22,036 for fiscal year 2023. This is the current total maximum amount allowed by SHA. Do I have to use the total grant amount this year? No. If you're eligible for SAH or SHA grant, you can use money from your grant for up to six or up to six different times over your lifetime depending on the adaptions you need uh, and the bid from the builder you can use as much or as little as of the grant as you need this year if you don't use the full amount you can use more money from the grant in future years we may adjust the total maximum amount each year based on the cost of construction. You may receive up to the current total maximum amount for the last year you use the grant. Then there's grant eligibility for a temporary home uh, as well. Some additional information. It says uh, the, the temporary um, one is TRA. It says if you're living in a temporary if you're living temporarily in in a family member's home that needs changes to meet your needs uh, to use the TRA grant uh, you don't have to own the home. Uh, how much funding does TRA grant offer? If you qualify for an SAH grant, you can use up to forty four thousand two hundred and ninety nine dollars through the TRA grant program for fiscal year twenty twenty three. And if you qualify for the SHA grant, that's the smaller one, uh, you can get up to $7,910 through the TRA grant program for uh, the same fiscal year. Then it has a how do you apply for it and all that good stuff. So I'll put more information in the description below, but it's just a really good uh, program to know about. I'd be interested to know if anybody has applied for this and received it, used it. How did that work? How was the process? Uh, did they pay the contractor on time? That type of stuff. Uh, so with that, we'll go ahead and end it there. I appreciate you so much. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.